The Nigerian crypto community recently received a shocker on Friday when the Central Bank of Nigeria released a circular warning financial institutions that the cease from dealing or facilitating payment for cryptocurrency exchanges. As reactions show this development, Plus TV Africa takes a look at the impact of the policy on the nation's financial system. Who engage in crypto are obviously unhappy with such a directive. Bearing in mind the influence the Apex Bank has on Africa's fast-growing financial ecosystem. Some crypto pundits under anonymity also believe the approach taken by the CBN was rather discouraging to the growing industry. So as reactions trail, analysts on Plus TV's morning show, The Breakfast, X-ray the impact of the CBN's latest move on the perception of cryptocurrencies by the general public. We must not um, be so emotional because of the traders that are actually um, doing so much, making so much money in, in Bitcoin to the detriment of the economy of Nigeria. We must be sincere with ourselves. We must ask ourselves sincere questions. We must be we, we must be patriotic enough to look at the economy holistically instead of looking at our own selfish uh, desire that we want to gain. In the next 10 years, I can assure you that the graph will always be polygonal, which means that it will always go up rather than go down. Okay. If, so if the government is in, like, I mean, a lot of four, top, the top five countries in the world are embracing cryptography. It, there's a reason why they are embracing cryptography. The whole idea of cryptocurrencies is DeFi which is decentralized financing. The recent directive has already strengthened fears among a growing number of Nigerian users, which include millennial and small business operators who use such digital assets for payments and hedge against inflation. Inasmuch as the CBN says its decision to ban the use of cryptocurrencies in the country is to protect Nigerians and the financial system from the purported illegal nature, Experts say it is not unconnected to exchange rate control and remittance policies. It could have been the reason why the Naira is taking a lot of battle because you know that this crypto currency is not, is, not, is, not, is not stored in Naira, it's stored in dollars. And you're talking about Nigeria being the, large, the second largest traders in crypto currency, about 500 and something million dollars. You can imagine 500 and something million dollars in exchange for a Naira. This would inevitably lead to, you know, a Deval um, a devaluation of the Naira because the dollar will go stronger. Because just what, what um, the thing is, you have no banned cryptocurrency. What you've just done is ban the use of Naira to buy cryptocurrency. After a largely successful year in 2020, local crypto startups were expected to spread their wings and fly. This just may not be the case. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.